This is MathGuide.com, and my name is Mark Karadimos. Today we're going to talk about the differences between rectangular coordinates and polar coordinates. So in our first section, that's what we'll do. Talk about fundamentally how is it, how are the two systems different. And then in our second section, we're going to take a look at how to take rectangular points, convert them into polar form. And then in our last section, we're going to take a polar uh, points and convert them into rectangular form. All right, let's check it out. So when we compare the two systems, the rectangular and the polar, you could see that they look really different. Uh, so the setups or the grids that you use have a different shape. Um, okay, so where do you start? In a regular rectangular system, you start at this point called the origin, which is at zero, zero. You're on a zero x-axis horizontal line. You're on a zero y-axis vertical line. Okay, if you wanted to graph 2, 3, you'd have to go 2 to the right, 3 up. If you wanted to go to this point, you first say, where are you along the horizontal? I am 4 left. Where am I along the vertical? I'm 1 down. There you go. You've got your points. Contrastly, we have the polar system, which is different because um, instead of describing points by X's and Y's, horizontal and verticals, this one you're going to describe things with R's and thetas. So let's say you wanted to talk about this point right here. So you would say, okay, well, let's see, what ring is it on? It's one, two, three units away from the origin. And it's on this 30 degree angle. So you describe it using the radius, how far it away, is away from the origin. And then what is the angle to this positive X axis, which is 30 degrees? So let's say you wanted to talk about this point right here. You'd say, okay, well, what ring is it on? It's on the one, two, three, four, five. It's on the fifth ring. So it's five units away from the origin. And it's on the 120 degree line. There you go. So this point right here is still the origin. It's zero units from the origin. And it's on the zero degree line. I guess you could use any angle really to describe that point because it's zero units away, it wouldn't really matter um, what angle you're at. Okay, all right, let's convert between the two in our next section. So let's say I take the point three, negative three, and I'm gonna to try to convert this point. Three, negative three. I'm gonna convert it from xy form to r theta form. Okay, so R theta. So I'm gonna make sure I have a segment that goes to the x-axis. I'm going to draw a segment that goes to the point. And I've got three to the right, three down. So what I wanna do, of course, is find this length of the hypotenuse. So I could use the Pythagorean theorem, x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So I'm gonna use the three, Oops, I'm going to use the negative 3, and you're going to plug this in. What do you get? 9 and 9. And of course, that's 18. And you take the square root of both sides. You get the square root of 18. You could reduce that. That's 3 radical 2. There's your radius. Okay, so we've got our radius now. Next, we got to find the angle. So how do you find the angle? You now use the other relationship. You say the tangent of the angle is equal to y over r. Throw this in a calculator by taking the inverse tangent. And the calculator gives us a negative 45 degree angle, or in other words, a 45 degree reference angle. And that could be your answer right there. So I could put that answer, I could put negative 45. 
is another alternative. I could also put a, instead of going down 45 degree angles in the four, uh, 45 degree angle in the fourth quadrant, I can go spin around clockwise, which would be 315 degrees. Okay, there you go. So now I have my point. Let's try one more problem. Let's say we take another point. Let's say I go negative one, square root of three. So of course this is x, y, and I'm gonna be moving this over into polar, which of course is r, theta. Okay, so if I go one to the left, square root of three up, it'll look something like this. And this is a negative one, draw a line to the origin, bad looking line, but uh, I get this setup. Of course, I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem again. I'm gonna use x squared plus y squared equals r squared, r is our radius. So you're gonna put in negative one, square root of three. Okay, so what do we get? One plus three, Square, square root, they cancel, I get four. Take the square root both sides, you get two. There you go. So now we know that the radius of this point, distance to the origin, is two. Okay, now let's get the angle. So if we're going to do the angle, again, we use this tangent. So the tangent of theta is going to be opposite over adjacent. Now I'm using positive values. There's a reason why I'm doing that. Because when I take the inverse tan, the inverse tan is going to give me a positive angle. Oops, I can't talk and write at the same time. Okay, so it's going to give me a um, positive angle. So in other words, punch this into the calculator and it gives me 60 degrees. Now I do realize that this 60 degrees is the reference angle, right? This is 60 degrees. It's not my final answer. 60 degrees is in the first quadrant. So what I wanna do is figure out what is this angle, which is 120. Now there's other options here. You could instead say this is negative 180 plus 60, which would be negative 240. So there is no unique answer for polar coordinates. All right, well, let's work in the other direction. Let's change from polar to rectangular. So let's say we want to take this polar point, five, 240 degrees, and I want to convert this into an XY, a rectangular point. Okay, so if I'm going to do that, first let's figure out where the heck is five, 240. Well, on the fifth ring, one, two, three, four, five, and 240 would put us right here. Okay, so how do you deal with this point? Well, if I was going to convert this into rectangular, I'd have to draw a segment to the x-axis, draw a segment to the origin, and of course I have this right triangle. I have now the hypotenuse, and if this is 240, I know that that reference angle has got to be 60 degrees. Okay, what do I want to do? I want to figure out what the x value is and what the y value is. Okay, how do I do that? Well, just think back to your trigonometry. You know that if you take the cosine of 60 degrees, that is going to be equal to adjacent x over hypotenuse 5. So if you cross multiply, you're going to get x equals five cosine of 60 degrees. That is an X. Okay, so, boy, if you really knew the cosine of 60 degrees, you'd be in great shape. So, again, the 60 degree angle isn't just any 60 degree angle, it's in the third quadrant. Um, so, think of your <coughs> reference triangles. You could think of uh, your unit circle um, I know the cosine of 60 degrees has got to be negative 1, well, it's actually 1 uh, over, um, and remember, I'm dealing with a unit circle, 
So it's going to be 1 over 2 or a half. But since I'm in the uh, third quadrant, it's going to be a negative. So what is this? If I multiply this, I'm going to get negative 5 halves. And now I have my x value. Okay, how do I get the y value? Well, similarly, you are going to take the sine of 60 degrees, which is opposite over hypotenuse. You're going to cross multiply. You're going to get y is equal to 5 sine of 60 degrees. <clears throat> okay, what's the sine of 60 degrees? Um, well, it's opposite, which is square root of 3 over the hypotenuse, 2 for a unit circle. Okay, this is for a unit circle. Again, because the 60 degree angle is in the uh, third quadrant, I know this is negative. Okay, so you multiply, and what do you get? You get negative 5 radical 3 over 2. And now we have our answer. So it's going to be negative 5 halves. And over here is negative 5 square root of 3 over 2. And there you go. We just converted that polar point into rectangular form. Okay, so I would like it very much. If you would have liked this video, I'd uh, also like you to go back to um, mathguide.com. Check out our other uh, lessons, our interactive quizzes, and our instructional videos. Matter of fact, you could even subscribe to our channel. S subscribe to this YouTube channel. I appreciate it. All right, you take care. Have a great day.